Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips to get clear skin as fast as possible. Um, so if you want to know what those tips are, then please keep watching. So before going on to the tips um, for this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel because that would mean a lot to me. And also give this video a big thumbs up um, so that it inspires me to make more videos like this. So I want to give you a quick background story of uh, what why I'm making this video um, before we start before we even start so I had acne for 18 long years I tried every single thing available on this planet you guys that at least that's what I thought antibiotics I tried ointments I tried this cream that cream laser resurfacing uh, this and that and different kinds of face wash acid AHA BHA this that you name it I tried every single thing Thing and Accutane for one year straight. And acne came back with vengeance, a picture right over here, after two months of stopping Accutane. I know. So I was like, so desperate to clear the acne. I was depressed. I just wanted to clear my skin. I was so angry at myself because I didn't know what was going, what the heck was going on with my body. Um, I'm just breaking out like, crazy so that's when I started to research um, on certain things and I decided to make some lifestyle changes which has helped me so much I uh, just wanted to profess this that I'm not wearing any makeup today just the mascara and um, and then lip gloss otherwise I look like a sick ghost <laughs> if I don't have any mascara in my eyes um, so that's all makeup that I'm wearing today so my the, my skin has gotten clear so much when I when you when you compare it with the photo, this photo right here. Yeah, so I still have some scars left here, like some keloid scars and stuff like that. Um, so I'm trying to get rid of that as well, but that's gonna be a topic for another video. So now that is out of the way, um, let's get started. So tip number one is a stop eating sugar for the high glycemic index and also dairy. I know, this was the hardest part for me. Um, because I love sugar, I love sweets, I love chocolate, I love milk, I love my coffee with milk in it and two to three teaspoons of sugar in it. I know, everyone loves sugar, but sugar is not good for our body at any level, shape or form because what sugar does is it kind of triggers the inflammatory process in our body. So what's a big deal with the inflammation? So the issue is it breaks down Elastin and collagen, which are the two essential building blocks of a skin. I know. So these are the proteins that helps in make looking our skin youthful, more elastic, more plumpy, less wrinkly, you know, looking much beautiful. Sugar becomes more processed. It kind of um, makes the skin produce more oil and that leads to more inflammation and more clogged pores and also the bacteria can clog these pores and makes the acne even worse causing cystic acne those painful big sits that sits all around your face and that is pussy and disgusting yuck I know you can definitely take some baby steps that's gonna help you gear towards cutting your sugar sugar down long term so I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I did uh, to help me cut those sugar down the first one was drinking lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water because I know you might have heard this tip over and over and over again from all the YouTubers out there or from your mom from your sister from your friend or from you yourself have this thought going on in your mind yes I should drink this much of water per day just do it what I'm waiting for is just, just just do it so drinking lots of water not only helps with dehydration but also it helps to flush out all the toxins that we are building up every single day and flush through the urine or through the sweat um, or as pimple or acne right so drinking more water is definitely a baby step towards cutting the sugar down and also if you drink more water you will not have much sugar cravings as you would have normally so give this a try and comment down below if drinking water is going to help help to cut your sugar craving down the second tip is substitute sugar for honey now when i say honey go for organic honey um the, the honey that i use is uh, this honey right here so this is a regular honey that is available here 
in Canada it is from it is from natural I don't know, it is called natural honey it is amber honey pretty much and it's organic um, so this stuff this is uh, so good I usually take two tablespoons of this honey in my um, morning green tea I do not drink coffee at all so that brings me to tip number two try to cut your coffee as much as possible because coffee yes it wakes you up it is so tasty to drink it is blah 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 but it has got lots of caffeine in it and it can drive up your anxiety so much so um, substitute your coffee for green if you cannot actually like really cannot stay away from coffee then that's fine try to drink black coffee uh, without putting milk or um, sugar or even substituting sugar for honey so the whole point here that I'm trying to make is cut your sugar or stop using sugar or dairy or any other high glycemic index food this also includes potato chips like any form of chips uh, that comes in a packet okay so I know this is hard but give this a try and this is gonna make a world of difference on your skin okay so moving on to tip number two which is to check your hormone rise of androgens such as a testosterone really increases the oil production in your in your skin this sebum the glands produces lots of sebum and then your clogs get clog pores get clogged yeah so your pores get clogged the inflammatory process starts kicking in your cell activity is all over the place and it is a big mess so do check out your hormones and you will be pleasantly surprised to see what the shit they are doing okay so I did check my hormones and as I said I do have an increased testosterone hormone in my body so that is that was one of the reasons why I was having cystic acne for 16 to 18 long years so I am doing some hormonal um, therapies um, naturally everything naturally so if you want me to make a video of that please um, comment down below if I get 500 likes for this video I will do that video for you guys um, to share my tips and tricks on how to keep your hormones in check okay so after natural ways on uh, keeping the hormones in check are reducing the sugar i know um drinking lots of green tea because green tea has lots of anti-inflammatory properties to it third using products that has aha in it um aha stands for acts um alpha hydroxy acid yes yeah, so the, it is a plant-based acid that is normally derived from um, citrusy fruits so it also does a very good job in reducing the inflammation also getting rid of the clogged pores that causes um, inflammation and acne so I'll share with you the product that I'm using on my face um, later down the video so make sure you watch the entire video if you want to see those products okay and the third and the last one is actually using sunscreen because if you use the AHA product on your face it your face becomes super sensitive and then you should have to use sunscreen on top of that because otherwise the rays of the Sun is gonna damage the already sensitive skin okay so those are some of the tips and tricks that I have for um, for you ladies out there that are um, constantly struggling with hormonal imbalance but as I said but I can make a, a, a solo video like a full-on video just on how to treat hormones naturally for you guys if I get 500 likes for this video and also if you share like and subscribe to my channel okay so do that right now and I'm gonna bring up a very informative video for you guys shortly so moving on it's a tip number I think it is three or two I think it's three right okay so tip number three is exercising they are spreading your body so there is a general myth on this topic you guys so when you when you talk about exercising people often say okay so when you jog when you exercise what happens is that you kind of sweat and remove all the toxins that are building up in your body through the sweat but you know what this is something a myth which has not been proven yet what I need to say is that there is a no research that I could find that justifies this statement so uh, the exercise kind of acts on um, reducing your acne in a, in a different way it does help in removing the toxins by producing a lot of sweat but uh, mind you if you do not wash your face after doing an exercise and uh, then your pores are going to be clogged yet again and then you're going to be living with big 
big huge humongous pimples so yes exercising is a good thing but the sec but the thing that you should keep in mind while you're exercising is that you should be washing your face after you exercise don't sit with that face don't sit, sit with that sweat on your body make sure you wash your face but so the general idea of what exercise does to our body is that exercise produces these good happy good little hormones um, that is going to balance out the hormones that is going to balance out the increase in testosterone production so it basically balances the hormones that's what exercise does and that's how it helps in um, treating the acne so um, and this brings me to tip number four which is a reducing at the stress so exercise is a very good way actually to reduce your stress because the by the time you're exercising it produces the, the happy hormones um, I'm not going to go into details of what the hormones are called or anything because it is not a video meant for that but these produce the so-called happy hormones that helps to get relief relieve the stress that is going on the other way that i usually do to reduce stress is doing meditation um, meditation is a really good way i have a really good app in my phone that helps to meditate um, there is um, it is a free app actually if you want i can link in the description box below if you want you can check it out getting eight hours of sleep is also very good in getting um, to get that stress out of the way um, the other thing that i do which help me get rid of that stress is taking magnesium glycine okay so this is the magnesium that i take you guys so this is from the company called camperf um and i have the doctor prescribed my doctor prescribed me to take magnesium so if you want to take you can go ahead and take it you do not need a prescription to take this magnesium to get this magnesium but it's a good idea always to get checked before um, to see what your electrolyte levels are and it is not affecting um, it is not going to affect the amounts of magnesium you're taking because magnesium is a very um, important mineral in your body and if you take it in excess then it leads to toxicity and other um, heart related problems and arrhythmias I'm using medical terms, okay, um, like irregular heart rhythms and those kind of things. So make sure you are not taking excess of it and see your doctor before you uh, jump into um, buying this product, okay? So the uh, the dosage that I take is um, 200 milligrams. I take two capsules of this uh, before going to bed, like an hour before going to bed every single day. And it has helped me so much in reducing the stress, um, uh, stress levels and everything along with the meditations and all those things. Okay, so moving on to tip number four is taking supplements. So by supplements, I mean, I do take lots of supplements, but the important ones that I would like to point out for you guys is vitamin A and vitamin C. So the vitamin A and vitamin C capsules that I take is from this company right here. So I take 500 milligrams of magnesium, I'm sorry, um, vitamin C every single day and um, a one soft gel of this vitamin A every single day. This is 10,000 units. So vitamin C and vitamin A is a very good combo uh, for acne, uh, for uh, treating acne bacteria. So I would like to just, uh, tell you guys a little story on why I wanted, why I'm taking these um, supplements. Um, it's not because I like to take vitamin A and C. No, it's because my mom uh, suffered from acne like me for so many years, and she finally got rid of her acne when she was 29 years old. So, um, um, and I asked her how, and she said, someone told her to take vitamin A and vitamin C together. I think it was a doctor who asked her to do that. But anyway, she took it and within like two or three weeks, her whole acne was clear. Like she had acne like me and curing acne for like after two weeks by just taking some supplements is isn't that crazy so um i was a little bit doubtful about that i was like mom are you sure <laughs> right and then she was like yeah give it a try and um and see how it goes and i was like okay but i didn't do it for a while and then and back of accutane i tried accutane um did nothing for me acne came back after two months of um stopping it so i thought mm -hmm. 
maybe I should give it a try and see if that helps at all. So um, I took vitamin A and vitamin C, started taking this like a month ago and my acne is all, like almost gone. It's like 95% gone. So I wanted to put it out there to let you guys know there is options. Um, um, if you're still suffering from acne, give this a try and comment down below if this has helped you at all. Um, so the amount of time that would take for this, the supplements for, for to work for you might be different for what it takes to work for me. So for me, it only took like almost a month uh, for, for me to see the effects and I know my nails are all broken and everything. So I don't care. Um, so anyway, so it might take like more than one month, maybe six months for you guys. So don't bash, you know, put negative comments in the comment section when you just used it for two weeks and say, oh man, you are just giving us like false advices and it's not working. Uh, well, it might not work for everyone, but I just wanted to help you guys um, and also let you guys know it could work so give it a try and um, let me know in the comment section below if this helped at all okay so moving on to tip number five is a skincare I know so I put skincare towards the end of the video for a reason because just doing skincare is not going to do anything for your skin there should be a good balance in um, what you eat, cutting down sugar, not eating dairy, um, drinking lots of water, keeping your hormones in check, exercising, um, stress relieving, uh, taking good supplements and skincare is just to give that a little boost to your skin, you know, a little, you know, that little boost to your skin uh, when it needed, right? So, so that's why I put skincare um, towards the end of the video and I am going to do like a full on skincare routine that has how to clear my skin and by the way I'm not wearing any makeup today I know I have lots of scars I'm gonna close come close up have lots of scar on my face yet I know that but but what I find is it has gotten so much better uh, I'm gonna insert a before picture right here right now and then my face looking right now so I think it is a huge difference so I'm happy with my skin um, so anyway so what I do for my skincare is I wash my skin wash my face um, two times a day I do not overwash my face I wash it only two times a day and also if I'm going for a workout and coming back from a workout I wash it that time too so if you want to say three times sometimes yes um, so for washing my face I use this particular cleanser right here so this is actually formulated by my dermatologist so you cannot get this from the market but um, you look for something that has um, glycolic acid and AHA in it that's what this is um, here so this has 4.7 percent of glycolic acid in it and it is almost almost finished uh, and has this has this particular face wash has helped me so much in cleaning my skin um, and getting um, get rid of that acne um, so the skin kind of tingles a little bit because it has glycolic acid in it so kind of tingles for first few days when you're using it and once your skin gets used to it then then, then you'll be fine so um, even if you you can't have this like if you're living here in BC um, I'll leave her I don't know if you can call her office and then she can ship it to you. Um, I don't know if that would be an option. Anyways, I'll leave the details of my dermatologist in the description box below. And if you want, you can call her. Just ask for uh, the the for, the um, four point seven percent glycolic acid that she has formulated in her lab for her patients. So this stuff is so good. I would recommend this product too all of you guys out there because this is super good so that's what i used to uh, clean my face so before cleaning my face i take my makeup off so i take my makeup off using uh, this um particular makeup remover right here this is from function lab and this is called Fun this is a micellar water and this has no alcohol in it this is just purified water and has no alcohol in it whatsoever if I am not wrong. Yeah, this has got no alcohol and it's completely alcohol free. So it's not going to dry your face out at all. If you have sensitive skin, this uh, particular thing is perfect for you. And this is my second bottle actually. So I newly purchased this bottle and it's all like it's full uh, to the brim because 
this is a new bottle and um, I already used uh, like two bottles of this. This stuff is so good. Highly recommend if you have sensitive skin and you don't want to dry out your skin because this has a zero alcohol, zero alcohol or zero acids in it. It's just purified water. So um, once I finish that, then I use a toner. So this is the toner that I use. It's called Thayer's Organic. Um, original toner this has witch hazel in it so if you don't know what witch hazel is it's like an herb which um, kind of reduces the inflammation and stuff like that on your skin and it, it's also perfect for acne uh, importantly for acne prone skin so um, this is my second bottle as well so I take a cotton pad and then just rub it on my face just like that and it has helped me so much um, as well in also improving the texture of my skin. So if you've already been following me for a while, you already know that my the texture of my skin is not good at all. Like I have lots of imperfections and then pores and then dents and everything on my face. But this has helped me so much. All these products have helped me so much in improving the texture of, texture of my skin as well. So, um, so that's my normal routine. Then I just put a moisturizer on and go to bed, and then wake up, put the do the exact same thing. But the only one difference is that on some days where I like to do some like the extra skincare, um, um, like an extra, extra little extra of the skincare, I use this product right here. This is from Function Lab as well. This is their 10% um, AHA glycolic acid. Alpha, oops, this has, it has both alpha and beta um, um, hydroxy acids in here and it's 10%. So this is also helping me a lot in um, in kind of repairing the texture of my skin because I've got this, I know that the texture of my skin is super crappy. So I'm working on it and this has helped me so, so, so much. But I don't use this product every single day. I only use it like every two or three days. But um, I recommend, highly recommend this product to anyone out there, super good. So on days, I also, I wear sunscreen every single day, no matter what uh, what the weather is. Even if it is cloudy, even if it's snowing, whatever it is, I use the sunscreen because sun damage cannot be reversed, you guys. It's, it's, it's going to cause permanent damage to your skin. Uh, which we're gonna all regret when we reach our 40s or 50s our skin will be saggy, wrinkly and um, not that bit ugly. So um, so for that I use uh, this particular sunscreen right here. This is called this is from the brand called Viber. I don't know if you can see. And it is a sheer broad spectrum um, sunscreen with SPF of 45 in it. This stuff is super good. This is transparent, will not leave a white cast on your face at all, different from acne. And last but not the least, we cannot go out without makeup. You know, yeah, I can't leave without makeup, you guys. So for my makeup, every single day, I use this BB cream right here. This is a mineral BB cream. That means it is non-comedogenic. It will not cause acne. It will not clog your pores. It has got lots of ingredients in here that has amazing skincare benefits. And this is from the brand called Jane Iredeal. Um, and it is called their Glow Time Full Coverage BB Cream. You do not need a foundation. Um, this is an extreme full coverage BB cream and it is so good. So if you haven't tried um, their BB cream range yet, give this a try. They have got whole like full on makeup collection in their range. So um, give this a try and this has also got SPF of 25 in there, but I put like extra. I always like a little extra, right? So, uh, so this is the makeup that I use every single day. So those are some of the skincare uh, tips um, for you guys. I think that's pretty much it. I'm, I've been talking for a long time now. It's been a couple of hours since I started filming this video, so I am thirsty. I should go get some water but that's all I have for you guys today in this video if you like this please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel um, ring the notification bell so that you will be notified every single time I post a video and uh, just letting you know I post a video every Monday at 10 in the morning Canadian time American time I don't know how else it is called um, so 10 in the morning so um, 
please stay tuned for that if you guys have any more video suggestions for me uh, please link it in the description box below I'll be more than happy to film that for you guys um, sorry it was a very lengthy video but I had lots of information to pass on to you guys but um, that's all I have for you guys today until we see you again in another video bye